Where are we now, Connor? We're in the town that a superhero was born. Recognize this place, new kid? A little child laying awake at night, unable to sleep. Why have you brought us here? Don't you see? This is the night, new kid. The fateful night your dad fucked your mom. You walked to the mirror. Don't do this to him. But don't you see, Coon? This is what he wanted all along. To fix it. <sighs> you heard your mother calling for help, so you left your room. Go, new kid. You can't change the past. Of course you can. Go look. Yes! Don't you see, new kid? I've given you an opportunity. Which will you do, new kid? Fight the bad guys again? Or fight your younger self so that you never have to witness what's behind your parents' door? Bad guys? Hey, man, look, we're just followers. What? You're the little kid with, the, like, a zillion followers, right? We just thought... Well, we thought that if you could add us, and maybe, you know, maybe we could have friends. Because we don't really have any followers. Couldn't you please add us? Oh boy, oh boy! Our moment! Our moment is finally here! Wow! It's happening! Oh gosh, I'm just... Wow! <laughs> We did it, everyone! I, I'm so happy! Oh, hey, kiddo. Everything all right? G go back to bed, honey. Daddy and I are a little busy, okay? You did it! You stopped your dad! You saved your mom, new kid! <laughs> That's right! And now there's nobody left to stop me! I'm off to another town, team! Connor, team. no! Who the hell are you? I'm the coon. This is your kid from the future. Our child from the future? Oh, God. I knew something like this would happen. Our child knows we've been lying and wants some answers. You're right, kiddo. We've been dishonest. But only because we wanted to protect you. The truth is, your mom and I have certain abilities. Powers that normal humans don't have. I discovered mine when I was younger. One day I created a Facebook profile and within a few hours, I had over three million followers. My powers are similar, except they only seem to work on Instagram. I got four million followers as soon as I posted my first picture. Of course, powers like that don't go unnoticed for long. Shortly after that, your mother and I were kidnapped by the government, where they had scientists spending months doing experiments on us, trying to figure out how we were able to gain so many followers so fast. That's where your dad and I met and fell in love inside a cold, damp government lab. Yes, by day they ran experiments, and by night we made sweet love. My powers combined with your mother's, you received over 10 million followers the minute you were born. And by the time they cut the umbilical cord, you were already more powerful than all the Kardashians combined. That's why we had to escape, because we knew the government would use you to do horrible things. And we've been on the run ever since, moving from city to city, always trying to stay one step ahead. But everywhere we go, you just can't seem to stop gaining followers. Sometimes they even break into our house and use our toilet just to be close to you. That's why we've been putting special medicine in your dinner, sweetie, to try to curb your powers. But it didn't work. The side effects of the medicine just gave you really powerful and really smelly farts. We're sorry, kiddo. Oh my god, I feel so relieved to have finally told the truth. Me too, honey. I... You know, I don't think I need to drink anymore. And I don't need to run from my problems with pop brownies. Oh, honey, I feel like our future is going to be totally different now. I believe in us. Oh god, Barf. What about you, sweetie? Now that you know the truth, do... Do you think you can believe in yourself, too? in downtown South Park. But where is everybody? More importantly, what period of time have we landed at? All right, let's get this thing started. 
Look, but Lord. Today is a great day for South Park. This town has sucked for a long time, and finally Mitch Connor's gonna be sworn in as mayor. It is my honor to introduce Mitch Connor today, a man with some fucking balls to finally turn shit around. You did it, but Lord. It's inauguration day. We can still stop Connor from becoming mayor. Let's do this. This way. Come on, we can still stop this fucker. There he is. Guys, y y you're alive? Oh, thank God. Mitch Connor's about to be sworn in. Come on, guys, we gotta stop him. You're not going anywhere, you piece of shit. You're gonna finally admit this was all you. I am not on Mitch Connor's side, you guys. Stop this. You are Mitch Connor. Admit it, Cartman. No, I'm not, Cal. Admit it. No, Cal. I have no control over Mitch Connor. You are Mitch Connor. You've always been Mitch Connor, and you better stop right fucking now. Then how do you explain this, Cal? Well, 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 the plot thickens. That's not funny, Cal. I'm not doing it. Dude, fuck you. What's the matter, Coon? Shoes on the other hand? Cal, fucking knock it off. Why are you pissed at him? Because he's fucking making it up, that's why. I'm not making it up, dude. That's your fucking hand, asshole. Stop fucking trolling me. How is he trolling you, Keen? Because he's trying to teach me a lesson about being deceitful. Wait, so you admit you were making it up before? See, this is a troll to get me to admit I was trolling you guys. <laughs> this is just what I wanted. All the coon friends at each other's throats. Dude, come on, are you doing that? Maybe he is. Which means maybe Cartman was just doing it before. Well, will you admit it, Cartman? You see, that proves it. See what he's doing? Right? I have no fucking idea. Oh, how one little issue of mistrust can rip a team apart. Well, Freedom Pals, who do you attack? Me or the Keen? <laughs> okay. Knock it off, Cal. Seriously, it's not fucking funny. Dude, I'm not doing it. Bullshit. What's the matter, Coon? You're not happy to see me? Fuck you, Cal. This whole turn of events has boggled even my giant brain. New rule, any damage I take goes to the Coon. What? Ah, fuck! Uh, status effects too. What the, what the hell? Mitch, stop. This is cruel. No can do, human cat. It's the ruse. You son of a bitch. End this charade, human kite. It's not a charade. This is Mitch's doing. Ooh, you're playing right into Kite's hand. How about you, Freedom Pal? Which one of us is the real villain? Dude, I don't know what to do. I know you'll do the right thing. Blazer drills! Ow. No, take out Mitch! You're up. Who you gonna fight, Freedom Pal? To be honest, I'd be happy hitting either of you assholes right now. Ah. You all happy now? Well, who do you attack, Freedom Pal? I'm really open to hitting either of you. I have a really good feeling about this, guys. You can't find it on the story! Knock off the bullshit, kite! I'm not doing anything, dude! It's next! Damn you guys. This isn't fair. I'll say. Well, 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 good to see you again, Mitch from an alternate universe. Oh, god fucking damn it. Cow, you suck. Here it goes. Sex to me, you 
too, because I was over here. Carmen, you are such a fucking asshole. Just stop. Time to show off my tool sets. Take more than that to take me out, Freedom Pals. Uh, looks like you totally whipped. Stop before I break your fucking hand. Hey -ya! Hey -ya! Rah! Oh, yeah. Formidable as always, Mysterion. That didn't count. I'm not sorry for what I'm about to do. Glad to be working with you, new kids. Nicely done, Freedom Pal. You think you can just come in here and make your own rules, imposter? Will you stop messing around, Kyle? Ugh, just put your hand down. You can't defeat the real Mitch Connor. Funny, I was gonna say the same thing. Let's dance, Faker. An ill wind blows. Dude, you fucking blow. Uh, the wind is angry this day. I wasn't ready when you attacked, so I'm not taking that damage. Oh, and now your movement is reduced, okay? We advance a little further with each turn. That's how a drill works. Double screw. Ow! Dude, what the fuck was that for? Fuck you, dude. Now you're being an asshole. That damage doesn't count. Oh, and you're on fire now. Prepare to meet your end. Call that an appropriate application of force? <laughs> It'll take more than that, Freedom Paz. Oh, this is getting fucking retarded. I agree. The only way to end this is to defeat both of them. Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, am I up? No! Ha! You're not even good enough to be my fake! Carmen! This is your fault! Ugh. You're the disease, and I'm the king! You've got this, butthole! You're taking care of business, butt lord. Somebody's about to get fixed. Who's it gonna be? Kill him, swing! Ah! Every tool has its place in the fight for freedom. Uh, Soon is mostly impervious to cold. Mostly. Suck on death. Oof, that went over well. Blood <laughs> Lord's really giving him shit. Ready to screw the bad guys. <laughs> I bet you are. Screwdrivers of death. Ah! You wield those tools like a surgeon. Oh, I can finally 
go. Thanks. Drop it, fat ass. Tell these guys you were just fucking with me. They're gonna just keep beating the shit out of both of us. Yeah, dude, Kyle, if you're just fucking with us, we have to know. You're just making things more confusing. If I was just fucking with you, then so was he. Fine. Maybe I'll admit it. I'll admit I was just fucking with you guys. But only if Kyle admits to it first. I'm not saying anything until he does. You admit it first. All right, fine. We'll both admit it at the same time, all right? On three, we'll both say... I was just fucking with you. Fine? Fine. Okay, fine. One, two, three. I was just fucking with you. Ha ha, gotcha. Oh, you asshole. And for too long, our town has been led by a dumbass bitch mayor who never did anything to stop crime. And now Mitch Connor's gonna- All right, all right, enough talking. Just make me mayor already. It's Mitch Connor. Go on, hurry, swear me in. All right, uh, to begin the inauguration, Mr. Connor, would you raise your right hand, please? I do solemnly swear. I do solemnly swear. Wait, wait, stop! Yeah. What's going on here? Just finish the ceremony. Everyone, listen! This is all just a plan to get more crime in our town so that the Coon and French franchise would be bigger than the Freedom Pals franchise! Cat urine has been put into your drugs and alcohol to raise crime in the city so that the Coon would have more crime to fight. Everything was thought of by this asshole! Mitch Connor rides a fat raccoon? No, don't you get it? He did it all! Go ahead, new kid. Show them the selfie you took. Good. Now upload it to me and I'll put it on Connor's Instagram for everyone to see. What? Look! Mitch Connor's plan? Hey, they're right! You mean he was putting poison in our wine and cocaine? Why? Yeah, why? I'll tell you, eh? Because the new kid isn't the only person who had a parent get fucked. My dad got fucked when I was nine years old. What? Only two people on this stage know how that feels. Stop with that already! Shh, I want to hear this. My father will be avenged, even if it means everyone else has to die. Mitch? Mitch, it's over. Ma'am? What the hell are you doing here? I've been here all along, son. It's not your fault, Mitch. It's my fault. What are you talking about? It was me, Mitch. I'm the one who fucked your dad. Whoa! What? You fucked my dad, ma'am? Why? I did it for us, son. I wanted a future for you. All these years, hunting for the person that fucked my dad, and it was my own mother? Mitch, try and stay calm. Fuck you, Coon! You may be really cute, but even you can't fix this! Did he look at you, ma'am? Huh? Did he look you in the eye when you snuck up and fucked him? Mitch, it was a long time ago! Not to me! It's every day to me! Forgive her, Mitch! Please tell me you're not buying into this. I'm gonna kill you for what you did! Then just kill me, Mitch! Please, you kill me! I don't wanna live! I'll kill you, you kill me! I'll kill you, Well, thank God that guy isn't gonna be mayor. Come on, everybody. Let's go get clean drugs and alcohol from the next town over. Let's yeah! Go!
<laughs> you're the Tickle Bunny. No, you're the Tickle Bunny. <laughs> oh, hey, kiddo. Been out playing with your friends, honey? This is a great town, isn't it? I love it here. I'm so glad that all those years ago we came clean about our child's past. I feel like, I don't know, like our lives are different now somehow. I love you. And I love you. In fact, kiddo, would you excuse us for a moment? Mommy and Daddy have a little business to take care of upstairs. Oh, you little sneak. <laughs> Did you really think you could stop bad things from happening? Don't you see that chaos always catches up with you? You've tried being a hero. Why not let your darker side free? There's only one truth in this life, my kid. No matter how hard you try to change the past, your dad will always fuck your mom. <laughs>